Today I'm gonna try to win with every mini inside of Clash Mini and the plan for that is to combine the strongest minis with the weakest ones. And every time I win with a mini, I won't be able to use that mini once again in my deck. So can you complete this challenge? Let's find out. Alright, in game number one we are facing Abdud the Dude. I'm using the Wave Master Bandit combination with three other minis that are really not good in the meta right now. Okay, he goes with the Marcher and Ice Whiz. Beautiful bandit ability right there. If we were lucky, yes, let's go. We got the right timing with the Wave Master's ability and we should not lose after that value. He just upgrades the Magic Archer to the 2 star. It's all about getting another good Wave Master ability, but the question is can we get it? And the answer is no. Oh boy. And that wave master ability was not able to stand the marcher as well. That's not good, to be honest. But wait, wave master, I am believing in you. You can't do it. Never mind, wave master, you can't. Let's find out the true power of the three star bandit. I'm gonna go with the miner as well to just mess up the marcher placement. His giant skeleton is tanking for the queen. We actually might be able to get. Yes, let's go. That's what I like to see. A lucky wave master ability. His uh, invis was wasted, another good wave master ability and I think this might be enough. Oh, that was barely enough. In this round, you know what guys, I think the best thing is just to go for a 3 star royal ghost in the next round. And in order to do that, we are having 9 elixirs and we are getting another 9 when we lost. So we just can't spend 2 elixirs in this round in order to have 16 in the next one. I'm just gonna go with a dagger goblin in here. What the prince? Believe on me guys, sometimes the prince can't stop the miner in that placement. But anyways, it is what it is. We got a good wave master ability. Band shuts down the ice whiz, which is good for us. Can we get? Oh no, the wave master was not able to get that ability. That would have been so perfect for us. In the last round, now it's time to reveal our secret weapon. We are having 16 elixirs. Let's just go right away for a 3 star royal ghost. Can we get him? One more please. Oh no, that was so unlucky. We did not even get a knight to block his prince with that last reroll. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna play with what I have. And I'm gonna make the bandit in peace. This might be, this might do something for us. Just let's see. Okay. I think making the bandit in this was not the right play because the queen moved one tile forward because of that. We got the lucky wave master ability so that's one good thing in our side. Great bomb value by him. We got another wave master ability and I think guys, this might be enough. This might be it. Come on bandit. Oh no, magic archer clutches it for him. GG's anyways. In the second game we are facing a nature lady. I have changed the miner and knight to fisher and ice scissor to have some means that can support the bandit for us. Otherwise, I don't think we can win the matches against AQ. So I'm just gonna go with the bandit in the first round in here. Free first round. I will take that. Okay, that was a good dares move, but the thing is that bro is not having any ranged minis in the backline, so the bandit is still dissipating the dare. And that's not what bro wants in this situation. The Pekka was able to get a big shot, but I don't think this is going to be in. Alright, let's see which kind of surprise our opponent is having for us. And he goes with the Ice Wizard, that's nice. The bandit is not going to dissipate the dare once again. And oh boy, that Pekka slaps so hard, oh my goodness. In round number 4, I guess I'm gonna try something. First, he just put down the Ice Wizard. I'm going to make my bandit invisible so that the deer moves forward. And because of that, hopefully my bandit will target here. Will this work or no? Well, let's find out. Alright, bandit goes invis. Oh no, that was not what I was planning for. The bandit did not charge it into the deer with the ability. 
and just like that the pika clears everyone with that boost from the deck in the last round it's now fisherman time we can hook the lambert or the deer i'm gonna choose the deer to pull him into our back line so that hopefully my bandit will go on top of here and dissipate here we just need to make sure that the pika is not getting that deer's buff he hooks my ghost well i don't have any problems with that i just need my bandit to drain the deer and that's exactly what's happening right now hooking the deer was really the play for us wave master was able to stun the pika his ice wizard is down and i think with the slowdown of our ice wizard we should be able to easily win this last round let's go i already won again with this five minutes that means we are facing aq all right actually this deck is not that bad against the aq all we have to do is to no choke it okay magic archer moves to the front of the aq that one thing can be in favor of us in this first round Swordsman takes care of the match archer, but the queen's invis is too strong in the first round. In this round, I'm not going to place down any extra minis on the board because I still want his match archer to move in front of his archer queen so that my swordsman can take care of all of his minis one by one with his super. He does nothing in this round. Interesting. Well, my 3 star swordsman is just going to take care of everyone on the board in this round. In the third round, it will not be bad to place down the Electro Wizard besides the Warden on top of the Invisibility tile so that even if you hooked him, he will be protected because of the Invisibility. Alright, finally Bro decided to play with these Elixirs, that's what you love to see. The Swordsman was not able to get that kill, that was not good. The E was stunned in the right time, and the Swordsman takes care of the Queen during the Invisibility, that's a huge value and even takes care of the magic archer oh my goodness swordsman is so op in route number four i will firstly place down a guard in front of our electro wizard so that we will make sure that the giant skeleton bomb is not hitting our electro wizard and i'm gonna upgrade the use as well to the first ability so that we can stun everyone on the board a three star giant skeleton our dude is so aggressive and the guard as well wants to straight up choke this game why the guard did not move forward that was so strange but anyways come on swordsman i am believing in you good swordsman's ability warden let's go one hp victory that was so insane we have now completed five other minis on the list after that match i have done some stuff to make sure that i'm going to have win conditions in my last four decks and here we go we are facing a nature lady player okay let's go i really like those kind of players who are given the first round as a gift in the second round you know what guys i think he's now going for a two star pika so i'm gonna try to shut down the deer before giving the pika the boost that she needs i'm going to put down the mega knight on the other side so that my countess can backstab and a one star spear goblin okay oh no this is definitely not going to be enough countess never mind we are dead in the third round i'm firstly going to put down the lumberjack in here to protect my countess and a one star witch in the right hand side away from his pika so that even if he hooked my witch hopefully she will be protected because of my mega knight's son he even spends more elixir on top of his pika that's a good news for my witch unfortunately the countess might be stuck in a situation that the pika will always be able to shut her down that's not a good thing she's our main damage dealer in this deck but anyways come on witch i am believing in you you can't do it with the support of the laddies witch oh no the pika is closing up oh no we need the bigger skeletons on top of the witch because the deer was cleaning those skeletons better than i expect Alright, we are having a 3 star witch on the board, so things might end up being better for us in this round. He goes with a 2 star archer, but the deer won't be able to buff that because of the lumberjack. The countess survives somehow, some way, and takes care of the archer for us. Let's go, and she got 4 stacks, so 
she might be able to survive in the next round as well. That's a really great news. In the last round, he might hook our witch or he might just charge here. So I'm gonna put down a miner in this position. If you decide to press charge, the miner will be protecting our witch. And I'm gonna as well upgrade my lumberjack with the fierce ability to give more attack speed uh, to my countess. So that we will make sure that she will survive the pickup. Okay, this is the last moment. Will we win it? He goes for the magic archer and moves the deer so surely he will get the buff on top of his archer. But the countess takes care of the archer before the witch be down and that's definitely a w in here and we are going to easily win this last round let's go another five minutes on the list we won our first game with this deck that's actually crazy first game with deck number four and we are facing a wave boy player luckily for me i am an expert at dealing with the wave master using the dare all right bro chose the only line that we can't win the first round against it in the second round, firstly I will move my deer to here so that bandit will not be able to drain here and the wizard right there. We must distract the bandit otherwise the deer will not be in a good position. I'm gonna upgrade my pika as well to the first and the second ability. This should be enough in my opinion. Just a one star bandit? Hmm, he might be having a witch in his deck otherwise why not upgrading the bandit to the two star or maybe he was just unlucky with the reels who knows in the third round i'm just gonna try to upgrade my pika to the three star i'm not going to use the archer till the last round because i don't have any counters against the fisherman in this deck okay that's the two star which exactly like we expected the wave master should be down in some seconds and I don't think the bandit is going to be a problem because she's just one star. The deer is clearing up those big skeletons like they are nothing because of the bows. Oh boy, actually we might be able to win this one. Come on deer, clean those skeletons. Pekka, the deer takes the witch down and let's go. That's a really good thing for us winning this third round. In this round. You know what guys, it might sound crazy but it's just better for us to not use the archer because he's probably using some of his clash abilities and it is not worth to show where our archer is going to be. He goes with the prince charge, imagine us going for the 3 star archer, it would have been such a big mistake and we would have probably lost this entire game. In the last round, now it's time for us to reveal our secret weapons. Firstly, I'm going to put down the Valk in there to protect the deer against the charge. Now, please give me the archers that I need. That's one. I'm going to upgrade the Valk as well to the heal. Can we get some more archers? That's one. That's two. One more, please. And let's go. That's all we need. I'm going to cycle the Golden G and upgrade the Valk to the last ability as well. Maybe that will be better. Okay, everything looks so great till now. We are going to get the Dare's ability on top of the archer. How the Wave Master? I don't know how, but the Pekka takes care of that. That's really good. The archer is pumping up. The witch is in danger. Archer is going crazy. And let's go. Our victory with this deck in the first game. That's insane. And that's another 5 minutes on the list. Now we are at match number, uh, I really don't know, we lost some games with this BK deck. It's not the best, but against the IQ, it should not be that bad, because we are having double healers in our deck. So all I have to do is to not choke it. Okay, okay, we are getting this free first round, I guess. Alright, bro finally revealed his stuff. I think I can snipe that magic archer in the next round with a dark goblin in the left hand side. I will try to do that. Can we win this round too? Battle healer? Oh, she's alive. One more heal, please. Come on, battle healer. Yes, let's go. The BK looks healthy. 
but not healthy enough to win us this round okay now the dark goblin here battle healer to the block ability and one more dark goblin upgrade i think that should be enough he goes with a two star giant skelly to deal with my battle healer but the thing is that the bk is tanking and with the invincibility the battle healer should be okay in here come on dark goblin go faster marcher is down and that should secure us this round in this round he's probably going to use his fisherman or the prince so i'm not going to reveal my last minis hopefully you will think that we are having an ice wizard or something like that in our deck and that's the fisherman thank goodness he did not upgrade it to the last ability because we can still counter him like that in the next round okay now in the last round the plan is putting down a bowler in front of the fisherman so that he can tank for our dark goblin and by the time he goes down hopefully the bk will tank for the dark goblin i don't know the chances for this plan to work is not that high but it is our last hope he did not so as well what is our last two minutes so i think he will think that we are having an ice in our deck so he will not upgrade the fisherman hopefully the prince can be a problem too anyways this is going to be the last moment will we win it he upgrades the magic archer to the three star bowler is tanking and now the battle healer is tanking for our dark goblin let's go the plan is working right now but will it be enough marcher is going crazy the invincibility is on and finally we completed this deck and that's another five minutes on the list let's go finally guys we are so near to reach our goal only four minutes are remaining to complete the challenge i'm going to use the knight in this deck but don't worry i'm not going to play with him in the battle that counts as a cheat let's get ready oh it's the knight the knight oh my goodness i forgot to scrap that i can't believe that happened well i'm not going to count this much don't put down the knight don't put down the knight i must remember that don't put down the knight okay we got a free win in the first round that's nice well that's a really good match archer placement by our opponent he is eventually going to snipe our magic archer and win this round. In the third round, upgrading the magic archer from now is useless. I'm going to put down the musketeer and upgrade in here eventually. But first, let's put down a giant skeleton in here to tank for our magic archer for a little bit at least. Now, the musket to the double shot and extra stun ability. Bro goes with a 3 star magic archer, he's a straight up savage, but will that be enough for him? We are going to get the giant skeleton bomb on top of the king, good stun timing, don't let the marcher too, oh no he was able to get the buff, are we in danger? The musky stuns and no we are not, easy victory in route number 3. In this round, I guess I'm just going to upgrade my giant skeleton to the extra damage ability. We can upgrade the musky as well but I'm afraid if I done that the musky will push back the king like that we will not get any values with the bomb so we are just going to go like this. A miner? Are you serious bro? Well with that he will be able to completely counter our musketeer. Oh no that's not good. We must think about a way to counter his miner in the next round. In the last round there's a guard in front of the miner so we can't stop him with the prince. The good thing is that he's not having a fisherman in his deck. Hmm, the king is exactly in the range of the musketeer so I think I am having a plan. I'm going to prince charge the king so that my musketeer will move one tile forward and like that his miner will knock out of the queen instead of the musketeer. But even with that there's a risk because if he upgraded the miner to the cleave we will be completely doomed. Anyways, this is our last hope. Will it work or no? He did not upgrade the miner to the cleave. That's so nice for us. That prince charge was so smart. Because of that, the musky is saved. His miner is down. Unfortunately, we did not get the bomb value on top of the king. But that's alright. Please just don't let the king to give that last buff. 
Oh no! Musky! Yes, let's go! The musky clutches it for us in this last round. Musky is so OP. And you saw guys how with little things we can make big changes. Just because of knowing the range of the musketeer, I was able to counter the miner. That was so insane there. And finally, we completed the challenge, winning a game with every single mini inside of Clash Mini. Let's go! This is going to be the end. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye! The first one in Clash Mini's luck. That's not bad at all. The second one in my luck. Ouch. The third one for those that I won against them. They are having a bad luck. For those that I lost against them. A good luck. Hmm, that explains a lot. For those, for my subscribers. Let's go, my subscribers are the best. For those that are not subscribed. Let's go. Ouch. For those that are liking this video. Not bad at all. For those that dislike. Another ouch. For those that are commenting, let's go, you are the best as well. For those that are joining the discord server in the description. Oh, we did not quote this.